Discerning Hearts provides content dedicated to those on the spiritual journey. To continue production of these videos, prayers, and more, go to discerninghearts.com and click the donate link found there or inside the free Discerning Hearts app to make your donation. Thanks and God bless. A time of Lexio Divina for the Discerning Heart. Monday of the second week in Easter. As you begin, take a deep breath and exhale slowly. For the next few moments, surrender all the cares and concerns of this day to the Lord. Say slowly from your heart, Jesus, I trust in you. You take over. Become aware that he is with you, looking upon you with love wanting to be heard deep within your heart. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John, chapter 3, verses 1 through 8. There was one of the Pharisees called Nicodemus, a leading Jew, who came to Jesus by night and said, Rabbi, we know that you are a teacher who comes from God for no one could perform the signs that you do unless God were with him. Jesus answered, I tell you most solemnly, unless a man is born from above, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Nicodemus said, How can a grown man be born? Can he go back into his mother's womb and be born again? Jesus replied, I tell you most solemnly, unless a man is born through the water and the Spirit, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. What is born of the flesh is flesh. What is born of the spirit is spirit. Do not be surprised when I say you must be born from above. The wind blows wherever it pleases. You hear its sound, but you cannot tell where it comes from or where it is going. That is how it is with all who are born of the spirit. What word made this passage come alive for you? What did you sense the Lord saying to you? Once more, give the Lord an opportunity to speak to you. There is one of the Pharisees called Nicodemus, a leading Jew, who came to Jesus by night and said, Rabbi, we know that you are a teacher who comes from God, for no one could perform the signs that you do unless God were with him. Jesus answered, I tell you most solemnly, unless a man is born from above, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Nicodemus said, How can a grown man be born? Can he go back into his mother's womb and be born again? Jesus replied, I tell you most solemnly, unless a man is born through water and the Spirit, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. What is born of the flesh is flesh. What is born of the Spirit is spirit. Do not be surprised when I say, You must be born from above. The wind blows wherever it pleases. You hear its sound, but you cannot tell where it comes from or where it is going. That is how it is with all who are born of the Spirit. What did your heart feel as you listened?
What did you sense the Lord saying to you? Once more, through him, with him, and in him, listen to the word. There was one of the Pharisees called Nicodemus, a leading Jew, who came to Jesus by night and said, Rabbi, we know that you are a teacher who comes from God, for no one could perform the signs that you do unless God were with him. Jesus answered, I tell you most solemnly, unless a man is born from above, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Nicodemus said, How can a grown man be born? Can he go back into his mother's womb and be born again? Jesus replied, I tell you most solemnly, unless a man is born through the water and the spirit, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. What is born of the flesh is flesh. What is born of the spirit is spirit. Do not be surprised when I say you must be born from above. The wind blows wherever it pleases. You hear its sound, but you cannot tell where it comes from. Or where it is going. That is how it is with all who are born of the Spirit. What touched your heart in this time of prayer? What did your heart feel as you prayed? What do you hope to carry with you from this time with the Lord? Let us now close with the prayer to the Father that Jesus gave us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen.